Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today is I don't even know what day because I am in a time warp because of this one. Don't be looking all innocent. Let's just let's have a talk. Actually, I have to go grab the books really quickly that I've been reading. So here's the deal. I actually just came from Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Why do you all want mommy stuff? Can't you just get? She got a whole thing of toys right here. But she want to touch my books. <laughs> Why am I getting mad? It's, uh, she's literally my child. Of course, you would choose books over toys. Be careful. Be careful. Just came from Barnes and Mo Bar oh, Frick. Why can't I? I just came from Barnes and Noble. <laughs> And I got some books, two books that I'm really excited for. I got Amari and the Knight Brothers, which I heard is super, super good. And I also got the Gilded Ones, which I'm super hyped about. And it's gorgeous. Please, let me show you guys. <laughs> we gotta get the up close, the personal. Layla, be careful, you're gonna fall. Oh my gosh, this girl is just chaos walking. By the way, she's crawling now. So she's very hard to keep up with. But I have the gilded ones, which looks like this and is so beautiful. I haven't even looked under the dust jacket. Let's look, shall we? Oh my goodness, it's black. Wow, that was underwhelming, but <laughs> that's fine though. Not this one, trying to come for my book. I see you, I see you. You're not invisible. Looking like your daddy. Goodness. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, you're distracting. So let's just put that there for now. The close up of Amari and the Knight Brothers, which is absolutely stunning, honey. Stunning. And then the oh love to see it. So pretty. Yeah, girl. Curly hair don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you little light skin though. <laughs> this is for you, you know. I bought this for you. Yep. All right. Put that right beside that one. Moving on. Things that people probably do not care about. I bought these shoes, which are absolutely so freaking cute to me. I also got this little bag for $10. It's really, really cute. It has a space for my phone. I can fit my wallet, my mask, my hand sanitizer, and my AirPods and it just works for me. So we both just gonna be out of focus. All right, Curly Whirly. I was supposed to be doing some updates. I really cannot remember what I have and haven't talked about in this vlog. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so updates. Still reading The Burning God. Haven't got that much further into it. It's still really good. It's just that it's still really good. It's just that I haven't really had the chance to read because hi, this one. So I really do want to finish this one very soon, but I am taking my time this month, which I am every month, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm taking my time on that. I have a lot of feelings. The main one being that I'm scared. Like, I feel like that's the, that's just the feeling of our Kwong books. Like, I'm scared. Um, I'm afraid. Um, I'm worried how this is going to end. We shall see. I'm going to keep reading. I am reading, and how far into this am I? I don't remember. I'm almost 100 pages into this one. To Sleep in a Sea of Stars, this book, this book is something okay ma'am you're in my frame <laughs> you're in my frame um <laughs> i guess she's just gonna have to be in the frame so anyways this book right here i am in, i'm actually really enjoying it so far definitely super super sci-fi but that's not a bad thing but it's good so far so good i'm wondering if all this is happening in the first hundred pages what's happening and all the rest of the book because this book is i don't want any spoilers i don't want any spoilers i don't want any spoilers um it's over 800 pages it's over 800 and i think it's closer to 
900 pages. So I'm really curious to see how this goes. And in the back, it says, Space holds countless secrets. She just found the deadliest one. And boy, did she find a deadly secret so far. Yeah. So, so far, so good. Happy to be reading uh, from Christopher Paolini again. I have his books right there that I love already. So hopefully this will be a another favorite for me. Oh, you're going to fall. So reading that and then I was looking at the comments on my March TBR video and you guys were telling me if I'm going to read Brandon Sanderson, I should not start with The Way of Kings. And I just feel like you guys always give me great advice and I'm hard headed and I don't follow it. So I think I'm going to follow you guys' advice on this one because I want to love it oh yeah it was kissy from kissy reads she said for the way of kings definitely read warbreaker first it's a standalone but these books tie in with each other they're in the same world i was told to do that and i'm glad i did so i think i'm gonna follow that advice and i'm gonna wait on the way of kings maybe if i'm in a certain type of mood i'll just like maybe give the first bit of it a go but yeah oh I just, oh my god, I'm trying to knock myself out. I just hit myself in the head with this. I'm going to wait on that one. And I'm actually going to try this book. I actually don't think this one is that long. I thought maybe I need to pick a different one. But I'm going to try this book, The Dragon's Legacy by Deborah A. Wolf. I'm a little nervous because a little bit I've read is super, super, super lyrical written if that or descriptive I don't know that's what it seems like with this one but um yeah so I'm gonna give this one a shot actually I've had this one since just last year so I do want to try it yeah but this one is about it says in the heart of the singing desert the people are fading from the world mothers bear few live children the warriors and wardens are hard pressed to protect those who remain and the vashai the great cats who have called the people kithrin for as long as there have been stories bond with fewer humans each year high above the sun dragon sings a song of life and love while far below the earth dragon slumbers as she has since the beginning of time her sleep is fitful and from the darkness of her dreams come whispers of war and death oh okay yeah it just sounds pretty interesting i hope i can get into it because honestly the premise just sounds like really really good so and the cover is actually pretty stunning in my opinion i love the colors it's just so beautiful yeah so you guys these reading blogs are going to be all over the place no real conclusion nothing is going to make sense it's just it is what it is i'm trying is the point we're just gonna go with i'm trying just take it for what it is okay but that is that on that that is the tea that is what's going on this one i need to clean up in here so that's probably what i'm about to do and i have my little special guests here ignore my feet they're ugly anyways you're just gonna stand on mommy like that you're growing up so fast stop it stop growing up on me i love you all right okay so husband just left with the baby thank god <laughs> i am just gonna continue where i left off but i just want to thank a bookish luna because <laughs> thank you so much for getting these books off my wish list i'm so excited for um so i have the black veins by ashia monet um this first of all stunning looks so good big floppy paperback so beautiful Ugh, i just i'm obsessed this looks so good and i first heard about this book from from strange she reads channel so check her out but yeah that's where i first heard of this book her channel is so great so wholesome she's so just amazing cute wonderful so thank you so much bookish luna yes but yeah so i got that in the mail and she also was so kind as to get me the paperback of outlander so freaking sweet thank you so so much like i am honored like i cannot even explain like what this did to my heart to just randomly get this in the mail it really 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 made me so happy and i was having like such a crappy crappy day when i got these in the mail so thank you so so much so yeah uh i don't even know what to say i'm just 
flustered but I just had to show you guys that because that was just entirely too sweet so now I'm gonna straighten up in here and then I am going to film my wrap up Hi guys, I just finished the burning god by Arv Kwong. I'm not okay. Um, I'm not okay. Um, I'm also not okay, and this is not okay. Um, thank you for coming to my time talk. Okay, so what? <laughs> But honestly, at the same time, could it have ended any other way? Probably not. Is my heart broken? Yes. I don't even know how to feel. I'm going to have to sit on this one before I read it. I'm just going to go now and drown in my feelings. Thanks. Bye. So, guys. Meanwhile, since coming off of that book, that I am now... Um, continuing on with If You Leave Me by Crystal Hana Kim and this book is so heartbreaking in a lot of ways uh, yeah it's just heartbreaking and it's like why am I going from heartbreak to heartbreak but let's talk about it I can't even talk about it because I'm still reeling off that one but this book is like a generational story so it follows mainly three main characters from uh childhood kind of young adulthood into adulthood into their later years and how it affects the children and everything like that and this is surrounding a war in korea i don't know if it's called the korean war but and it's just kind of like how this war is affecting them and i have really been enjoying this one shockingly i don't know why i say shockingly maybe because i don't really read historical fiction but um it's a vibe although there are some like small parts that kind of weirded me out a little bit and then there's also the fact that this book does have cheating in it not really a fan of that but you can tell it's just a story that's telling people's lives and how one choice can change so much in like the course of your life this is actually really good and then we have a court of silver flames i am 126 pages into this one no real thoughts to share right now and i'm thinking about i'm actually reading renegades right now but i don't know where the heck i put it so i can't really update right now but i was thinking about binge reading this one the unhoneymooners by christina lauren however we'll see we'll see but right now i have to go make breakfast so let me go do that guys i am out with layla she's back there in the back seat i'm about to go into the bookstore i'm just feeling kind of down this morning like about so many things but um i'm about to go inside the bookstore because that's where i'm able to 
calm down. Probably get me a coffee, look at some books. That's what I'm about to do. drink and I'm about to try it. I like it. I'll tell y'all what it is in the car, I guess. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with my daughter, but she's kind of like, why am I here one? <laughs> yeah, so I'm probably about to leave soon. I think I might get one book. So, yeah.
doesn't have to be this big a deal, but I guess it's a big deal to her. So right now I'm trying to get back home by one o'clock and it's 12.58 and I'm trying to do that because Ahmed has to go take this car for an oil change. Okay guys, so let us talk for a second. Totally not a cute background. We're just gonna go with it. Okay, so let's talk about some books. I recently got this book, Thorn by Intisar Kanani and I'm super interested in it. It's by a Muslim author, also hijab. <laughs> um, it's by a Muslim author, beautiful little hijab going on there. And I was in the store and I saw that. So, yep, let me check on the kids. <laughs> From the publisher, Inkyard Press, that I'm working with, I recently got sent some books. Please don't pick that up and eat it. We have Don't Read the Comment by Eric Smith. They sent me this one, it just sounds really nice and wholesome this one is about divya and erin they love the world of online gaming divya trades her rising star status for <laughs> sponsorships to help her struggling single mom pay rent erin plays as a way to fuel his own dreams of becoming a game developer and as a way to disappear when his mom starts talking about medical school after a chance online meeting the pair decide to team up, but they soon find themselves the targets of a group of internet trolls who begin launching a real-world doxing campaign, threatening Aaron's dream and Divya's actual life. They think they can drag her out of the game, but Divya's whole world is on the line and she isn't going down without a fight. So this one sounds really interesting. I love the gamer and tech aspect. So yeah, I have one of the good ones. I think this is kind of like a book that's about a journey of these three sisters and I think one of them was killed. Yeah, so it says when teen social activist and history buff Kezi Smith is killed under mysterious circumstances after attending a social justice rally. Her devastated sister Happy and their family are left reeling. Hey baby, you want to come here? Ow, ow. <laughs> are left reeling in the aftermath as Kezi yeah. becomes Another immortalized victim in the fight against police brutality, Happy begins to question the idealized way her sisters remembered. Perfect, angelic, one of the good ones. Even as the phrase rings wrong in her mind, why are only certain people deemed worthy to be missed? Happy and her sister Jenny embark on a journey to honor Kezi in their own way, using an heirloom copy of the Negro Mo Motorist green book as their guide but there's a twist to Kezi's story that no one could have ever expected one that will change everything all over again so this one sounds really good i'm excited inkyard has sent me both books by this author I, by these authors their sisters um so i also have dear haiti love mm -hmm. elaine but i love the fact that their sister co-authors that's just so freaking cute Okay, so these books were like super cheap at Books A Million. So I got this book to read to Layla and that is A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer. This book is so beautiful and let me take the dust jacket off. So freaking, I can't tell if it's focusing but it's so pretty, I love it. And then I also got, I have another book by Mary H.K. Joy, and that's Emergency Contact in hardcover. It's so, so pretty. And I see tattoos, my interest is peaked. Then I have Girls of Storm and Shadow. This is a sequel to Girls of Paper and Fire, the second book. And I forgot about this book I was sent but this one is smash it by francina simone i'm really excited about this one i've been wanting to read this for a long time so i hope it's good this is by a booktuber so that's cool recently i really i really have not been able to finish a book i don't know what's wrong with me but here are some books that i'm reading right now i am reading a Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. Uh, you guys, this is literally just a smut book. <laughs> like, the plot is there, but like, not interesting enough to overrule the fact that 
this is a total smut fest like I am I'm 444 pages into this book so I am over halfway through and it's just I'm just here for the ride pretty much I've heard a lot of people say that this book they loved it more than A Court of Mist and Fury but I don't think it's that amazing like compared to that I mean it's good it's fun it's it's a little roller coaster of little fun things, but I feel like A Court of Mist and Fury had more substance for me. I don't know. I'm not sure, but we're going to sit that there. Also reading To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. I am, mm, I don't know, I'm somewhere around 400 pages <laughs> into this book. I kind of got lost, but... Yeah, so this I am very much enjoying. I think it's going to be like close to five stars, if not five stars. Just really good science fiction in my opinion. Uh, granted, I haven't read much, but I've really been loving sci-fi, so yeah. And then I'm also reading Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I think I am almost 150 pages into this one, which... It's nice because I've had this book for so long and I've really been wanting to read it. I think it's on my list for this year of books I need to read. So yeah, I'm reading that. I also have Love Her or Lose Her. I actually put a pause on reading this one um, because I feel like I'm reading too many sw uh, smutty books. <laughs> Layla, no baby. No, no, no. You want to play with this? You play with this? Would like to try to start back reading All American Muslim Girl. However, it just, I don't know. We'll see how this goes, honestly. I, I don't know. It wasn't really hitting for me. It felt kind of, I just don't know. I'm going to have to see about this. I'm just going to read it and then we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm really hoping I can finish some books because I'm three books behind schedule for my Goodreads goal and it's depressing. Even though I could be finished with three books in like less than a week. So if I really put my mind to it, but you know, I have pressing things. So I will check back in with y'all at another time, kind of letting y'all know what spiritual books I'm reading because spirituality is necessary. So yeah. Assalamu alaikum.